John from Raleigh, North Carolina has a rotting problem. Yeah, he has some rotten posts that he's sired up, he says, like this. Now, See? I'm not sure I understand what is sired up. Is that, is that an expression? Uh, it's got to be a North Carolina term, but once... I didn't know it until I saw the picture. Now I know exactly. He's just supporting it. He's oh, okay. he's putting. Well, we I would call in my terminology, I would call it a cleat. But a cleat. Sire's good. Sire. Well, you know, some places <laughs> some places you ask for a soda. Some places you ask for a coke. Some places you ask for a pop. When you go there, you it's, want a sire. Right. right you're you know, a sire. Just real quick, before you get in the whole question, Charlie, I can go all over the country, and people will use such different terminology for gravel. For concrete, so you just kind of go with the flow and pretend you know what they're talking about until you figure right. it out. Right. Some people want that C man. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. John writes, "I'd like to know which you'd recommend: repair it by adding another post alongside, which I think you'd call sistering it, right? And then then extending the post, or should I I dig around the existing rotted post, or and treat and pour concrete for repair? So you got some choices. Which which one do you think makes sense, Tom?" I think, quite frankly, I'm not sure what this is holding up, but as far as that goes, this post needs to be replaced. If you want to try to prolong it a little bit, concrete's not going to be a big thing unless what you could do is pour concrete up out of the ground and then cut the post off and set it on there and maybe put brick or something on the concrete to make it look like a footer and then use a cleat to hold that, that post in there and wrap it with a little wood and detail the whole thing differently. But as far as that goes, this post is about to go, so you'd have to cut, the, cut it off above the rot and put something else to support it if you wanted to do something permanently. The other permanent thing is to replace the whole post. But if you're just doing something for a little while, uh, then I would just go ahead, like you say, and sister something next to it and put it down in there. But this thing has got, seen better days, and it's going to eventually go all the way through. You're not going to stop it at this point. Yeah, and and so, it, but to do what you said there and doing all that work, that sounds like a lot lot more work than than just just replacing the thing. And then, what about the other posts that maybe if there's a line of them, Tom, do you wind up you having to, to do replace them all, to all of them? Yeah, well, you'd mm -hmm. have to do them to match, right? So that, that I don't know how all the posts are. If it's just this one post, and he has say six other posts. And the rest of the house looks great. I'd replace the post. I know people right. don't want to dig and pull it out and mm -hmm. put a new one in, but I, yeah. I would replace the post. Now, you don't mm -hmm. have to dig that deep. What he could do is, depending what this is holding up, and I don't know what that is. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. you were about to go. No, I was, he could, but... He, he could dig down about 12 inches, pour a concrete pad about 4 inches deep, about 18 inches by 18 inches, put a new post right on top, and then just use a cleat to hold it in place, then cover it with dirt again and make it look like the rest of them. So he wouldn't have to pull that post out if it's four or five feet in the ground. He could just cut it off and then pour a little concrete footer pad in the ground that you'll never see once it's done. So there's ways to do that, but uh, that's probably the only other option. You ready? Yes. Okay. Don't make Got a question? To All you got to do is click on that blue button right there at homeshowradio.com, fill out the form, send us pictures, and we will take care of you. We've got a form in here, buddy. All right. And then Tom likes to put a picture up every day. Or a picture. He does. He likes pictures. He likes answering questions. We post new ones at homeshowradio.com, our YouTube channel, and our Facebook page. Hey, if you watch one of the videos on YouTube, you'd help Tom and us out if you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Makes them easier to find.